looks so funny. Oh man, it's so cool. What is that? I'm gonna make a monster sea duck and I'm gonna use this to pull my kayak out into the water. A little over two years ago, we came out with a sea duck. Now, if you haven't heard of the sea duck, it is a model from a cartoon from my childhood. What we wanna do is we wanna take every plane we've ever designed and we wanna give the people the ability to build a supersized monster of that plane. The idea is you can enlarge it by a certain percentage and then instantly you can follow the build videos. There's no changing. You can go from a small plane to a big plane with about the same build time. So our first challenge here is gonna be making this big. Um, oftentimes when you make something larger, there's a lot of engineering, a lot of bracing, especially with a thinner foam because it's just simply not strong enough. The planes will build, they'll fly, but they will not last. Uh, the way we're gonna overcome this is we're gonna actually make a thicker, denser foam that is stronger. If we do this right, when you enlarge any of our airplanes 185%, you're gonna have the exact thickness you need to have a great building experience. Our goal is not to only develop big motors, big foam, but also hopefully big kits for you to build. That looks like a sea duck. Sea duck, sea coming duck. to life. <laughs> that is epic. Looking good, dude. That's yeah. a big sea duck. Well, we're gonna fly this thing today. Using the same motors as the A10? Yeah, the 4030 motors on a four cell, hopefully. What's next is we're gonna get this all squared away. We're gonna glue the booms on. We're gonna center the wings. And then next step is we're gonna build the outer wing panels, get them in, put servos on, go fly. All right, man. How's it coming, man? It's going good. <laughs> Looks awesome, dude. And I just gotta do the bar, the carbon fiber piece that I'm actually gonna put the rope on to, to, to tow me. Sweet. So I just got the red to do, leaving this brown just like the original. She's ready to go. You wanna put what's called a tack coat down first. A very light mist coat, just like this. That's actually gonna help with bond. It's gonna dry very quick. You step away for about 10 minutes, and then you come back and you put a heavier coat on. The cool thing about this is, this stuff doesn't peel up if you hit it with a lot of paint. You can do this, it's not gonna pull the paper up. But what will happen is it won't adhere well to it. So you could never try something like this without destroying your model with Adam's Ready Board or with our brown stuff. It works awesome. Yellow is always a pain because I'm, I'm always end up overspraying. So feel this real, real quick. So you feel how it's not tacky? I went over it with a polyurethane. Oh, nice. So, Is so spray polyurethane? Yeah, so typically when you touch it, it's really, really sticky. And it stays sticky for days. But polyurethane makes it real dry, but also when you put the tape on it, it doesn't peel up as easy. All right, so that paint job's looking good, man. Dude, it, don't look at it too close. It's a little splotchy, but you know what? Shout out to Rust-Oleum because normally if you're gonna do something yellow, you base it in white and then you go to yellow. I just went straight yellow over brown, which is a pretty dark brown, and it, it went pretty good. This is not a paid advertisement for Rust-Oleum. But if you guys wanna know what works, rust is good. So this is gonna be the bar that will hold the, the carabiner. So it's gonna hook in, in the back of the plane right there? Yeah, so there's gonna be actually, there's a cargo door that seals this up so it's watertight. And then this, this will fit up here. And then I'll just kind of... And you just people. attach your rope right there. Attach your rope right there. This has a door that actually pulls down so you can get full access to all your radios and everything. And then you just seal it and then just put tape around it and it's watertight again. You know, it's, it's getting real because it's 41 degrees right now. Yeah, so guys, we have to <laughs> do a disclaimer again. Disclaimer. Don't do this. We need a way to attach and detach from the kayak. So I got a couple of these. I got some paracord. It's like good up to like 150 pounds. I'm gonna tie this on, but the problem is, is if I just unhook and let this drop, it's gonna sink. And then I got some flotation, like a little life preserver from my carabiner. Is that gonna float? Quit it popping should. them. <laughs> I think it's gonna float wonderfully. Bubble wrap? Bubbles float. The whole goal of this isn't just to throw out and fly off. I gotta rehook. Rehook yeah, yeah, yeah. and then tow yourself back. Yeah, so this is my little life preserver. Yeah. So I can have the carabiner, I can like pull it, unhook, and then stow that carabiner, and then I can rehook it up and then tow me back. A lot of yeah. carabiners, a lot of flotation like, devices. I, wanna, I don't want my feet to get wet. They now, do you have a flotation me. device for yourself? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got okay. life preservers. I also have a backup life preserver, and I'm going to stow my oars that float. So that Great. way, if I do lose that of the plane, I can paddle back. Yes, float, okay. float, oh, float the oars. I like yeah. it. All right, so not only is today super exciting because of all the sketchy, bad decisions Josh is making, but it's also exciting because we have these guys. If you guys aren't familiar with the Drone Racing League, these are a DRL Racer 3. If you're not familiar with Drone Racing League, it is like racing, but from the future, these things light up. It's almost like pod racing. And these drones themselves, not only do they look cool, but they have a top speed of like 80 mile an hour. Now these are handcrafted by the DRL engineers themselves, and they're flown by professional pilots. If you're not familiar with Drone Racing League and you want to learn more, they actually have the race coming up on yeah. November 1st on ESPN2. Make sure you check them out and give DRL some love. Now, I'm gonna get some batteries for these guys and me and Ian are gonna take these things up for the first flights. I'm super excited, let's do it. 
Let's do this. Do this. <laughs> do do this. Are we ready? Oh, oh it's yeah. close. Close. Let's go. All right, <laughs> in the water. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is absurd. <laughs> Here we this go, guys, absurd. ready? This is absurd. Dude, it's working, it's actually Dude, it pulling. works! Hold on, dude, hold on, hold on. It's actually pulling him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> dude, it's got a lot of power, oh my god. Oh gosh. dang, dude, look at this guy. <laughs> look at this crazy <laughs> guy named Josh Pixler. Are you kidding uh, me? <laughs> dude, are you okay, buddy? All right, guys, bring it back. All right, that's far enough, dude. Try to detach. You're gonna bring it back and detach. All right, for this yes. dude. All right, man. Whoa! Maiden flight with the Racer 3 over water, because you know, why not? DRL, thank you for trusting us with your beautiful birds. So the nice thing about chasing with these quads compared to how they're normally flown is chasing planes requires a lot less battery than racing. Dude, he just took it yeah! right off. All right, so Ian, watch, he has a string hanging down his belt. Nicely done, dude! Dude, that's awesome! Oh my goodness, dude, look at him. Look at that. Dude, the giant sea duck flies great off the water. Dude, look at that guy. He's doing touches with his bobber. <laughs> He's touching his bobber. I love it! This is a dream come through for Josh. Dude, I have to say the tune on this Racer 3 is freaking locked. It is. It is great for chase quads. It reminds me of the old days when we used to fly big heavy quads with big batteries. Dude, you're doing it! Doing it, buddy! Nice, all right, he's reattaching. He's reattaching. Ouch. He ran into himself. Oh, he got himself, dude. I wonder what the people that live on the lake think of this man out in a kayak with a half-sized plane and two little crazy high-tech drones just orbiting him. Yeah. Dude, also, dude, that floating device thing that he made with the bow wrap yeah. worked, bro, it worked. <laughs> worked like a charm. It worked like a charm. All right, you coming back in? He's gonna try to do his thing. <laughs> Look at this, this is epic on this camera, dude. I can't wait to show you how funny he looks. <laughs> he looks so funny. Oh man, it's so cool. <laughs> I can't get over it, dude. I can't stop laughing I right now. I can't get over it. Oh, look at that, dude. Oh, Sea Duck has come to shore. Dude, you did what it! What are you doing, buddy? Epic. All right, I'm bringing the racer three in. Hold on, we're gonna get, so. I wanna get in. <laughs> <laughs> look at this, there's the planes here and he's coming in. <laughs> oh, yes, dude! Yes! 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 I love you, brother. I'll, I'll be honest, I was a little bit more worried than I probably should have been for that. Yeah. So here's the deal, guys. We're trying to get a new record of likes on this video. Yeah. If this video gets to 25,000 likes, we're gonna make this kayak fly with wings. So like it, subscribe, share the video, get all your friends to watch it. Most importantly, get in the hobby, make memories for yourself. Yep, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah.